Boss is gonna fire up the weed whacker, prime it, prime it and stuff. And he's gonna go up there and start cleaning this out. Put your, keep your glasses on. All right, I'm through with the electric, so now I'm up here seeing what Dawson's doing. He's making a train wreck by the sound. Ah. Hold up a second. So he's using the oscillating tool to cut that plywood. i never seen such a cob job. How about you? No. No? Look at that thing. Um... So they did floor joists, and then they did sleepers of 2x6 used lumber. Looks like off a picnic table, redwood stain. They look kind of rotten, and then they put a layer of plywood over that. So, hmm. I don't know what's on this outside. Don't look like anything, does it, Dawson? So we got to put multiple layers out here. We got to put a 2x6 or maybe a 10. And then we got to lay plywood on it. So two layers to bring it up even. What a cob job. Wow. So he's cutting these out so we can get a better look. We got about a three and a half inch hole that animals have chewed through. Look at that. And uh, that goes right outside. So what can fit through that, guys? A weasel? Sure. How about a cat? Probably a kitten. A small cat. I don't know if a uh, raccoon could fit in there, but squirrel sure can. I don't know if there's more problems across here. Could be. But we're going to concentrate on this because the deck used to be hooked. Got to be careful where we stand. But there's nails all across there. That was hooked to the house. And it's down about five inches and out. So... Another imagination job here. Um, these sleepers are rough shaped, so I think what we're going to do is talk to the homeowner. He's coming back in a little while and find out how extensive he wants to go. you got to take that trim off and that trim off and that trim off and that bottom one. And then we're going to see if we can get a sheet of plywood all the way out there. All right, Dawson's bringing up a debris bucket and tools. What we're going to do is start on this door. Look how bad this is, guys. He took the aluminum trim off. There's nothing supporting the door on either side, any side. Here's the threshold of it. And then there's the chew hole, some of them. So we got to get the critters out. And then uh, we're going to take this door out. I bought a patio door. We're going to put a slider in here because that's cheaper than put buying a single door and then frame and sheathing siding. So that's what we're going to do today. Just start ripping this apart before the deck collapse. All right, I bought a Pella Vinyl 150 series slider. It's the cheapest thing Lowe's had that would fit in that opening. Cheaper than French doors. All right, we're going to start disassembling. Taking this door out. Dawson's supposed to be up here, but he took off. I hope this thing don't tip over on me. Not much holding this up here. be careful where you stand. Help me get this thing out of here. Go ahead. Go that way. You got moose stuff. There's like beer bottles or something over there. Let's get that cleaned up. Move your shovel. Go right out that way so we got to be careful where we stand up here. There's not a lot, is there, Dawson? Yep. So we're going to take this whole assembly out. He's moving this debris. Just shovel it in a bag, I guess. So move the bag over on that side so you don't dirty up where we're walking. There's vines going up to the right. And I'm going to take this frame apart. It won't take much, right? Have some pry bars. 
they get this off of here. Hopefully the building will stay standing, right? Not much on that trim. And this is just finger joint brick mold, so it's going to be all pieces. You might have to make some trim because the new door is a vinyl nailing plan. I might make a piece of trim. I brought the table saw. Dawson just unloaded it. So, he's probably going to have to make something. I think this opening is a, a 72. 80, and our new door is 70 and a half or something. It's a little bit small. I can fix that. And then here's our side. I want to save some of this aluminum. And did you bring up a little ladder? Yeah, I'm going to finish pulling this door. Not a lot of room up here and the deck is bouncing, but I'm going to try to get some of this trim apart. Yeah, the door's not really fastened. So it must be just a brick mold it was nailed on with. Usually I, I put screws up the side, but I don't think there's anything in there. So I think we can push the bottom right out. I'll have Dawson help me pull that bottom. We might be able to get that door out in one piece. Just be careful with any nails on it. And we'll just go out that way. So you gotta pick them up so you don't step on them. And I'll push the bottom right out. Well, maybe I will. I think there's one attachment in here. Yeah, that big one so I can move it out and then you hang on somewhere here because it might fall out ready I'm gonna try to keep pulling it'll come out of there I hope it's going most of the weights on this edge so don't get your fingers in the way of something Ready for it? It's gonna be heavy. Got about one more inch. What were they thinking, right? I don't know. Got her? Huh? Yep. Hang on, it's going to hit me in the head here. Go ahead, the hard hat. Got her? Yeah. Okay. Now, I'm going to work this end out first. We've got a little bit of aluminum trim holding it there. Watch your fingers on the right there. And looks like it's out, right? Yeah. So let me push this top. You got her? Yeah. What we'll do is just stand it up straight. You ready? Yeah. Okay, then I think if we move stuff, if you can move any of this, we'll lay it down. We can take some of this apart. Or if you want to hold it, I'll knock this off. It's a little dangerous to carry. All rotten. Let's see, I got a little sled here. Ready?
and then I'd like to top pop the top right off it. And this door is on with Phillips screws. I might be able to. It's like probably two or three up there. If we could pull that door out, it'd make it a whole lot nicer, wouldn't it? Mm -hmm. And then let's see if it's fastened on the top. Oh, it's not much here. See that? You got her? Yeah. We'll put all the door frame stuff together. And then the sill. Is that off the sill yet? It's still sort of attached. No? Yeah. Okay, we'll hold off on that. Let me knock your end off. Let's see what we got here. And I don't see any screws up this side. Make that whole frame Yeah, but be careful. Don't put your hands there. Yeah, just keep, just hold this one. Right hand. Here on that. Now I'll go and pry this. It's kind of dangerous, guys. We just got to not have it fall on our heads. So we're standing on a deck That's with no center collapse. support. But we don't want to do nothing yet because we got to take part of it out of the way to get to what we got to fix here. I don't know how much of it you guys can see, but hang on to that so it don't hit me in the face. Go down, not up. Down, and I can pry it up off there. Alright. Stop. Lift her up down. I'll go backwards with it. Can you get it? All right, you got her? Yep. Gonna keep beating on it. Ready? Yeah. Put your hand up on that. The header. Move on. And then this top piece is, can come right off. Take that off. Now, this is on there with one nail and one Phillips screw. So maybe I'll just hit it off in there. Ready? Yep. One more screw right there. Dangerous. Then. This door, let me get this, break a screw off. I guess it's stronger screw than I thought. I don't want to get our fingers getting it out of here. Never use Phillips. Hey, there's paper bags for insulation. Yeah. Plastic bags. <coughs> oh, yeah. And then, all right. Now lay your door over that way and see if the threshold will stay. No? Okay, hold on. Hold it there. I'm going to hit this downward. Lay it downward more. That's good. And then we're going to put a level on this here and see how much it dropped. See what we got to do because there's no support down there, is there, Dawson? Nope. Over a uh, long ways from there to here, there's nothing underneath there. <laughs> we might have to do a little fixing. Yeah, lay her over some more. Let's see if I can just pound it off in there. Got her. And we'll go right down the stairs with that one. tripping and stepping on the nail. Let's put them in the same spot. Fix these. They're all the same. All right, now we got a hole in the wall. All right, so 
see what we got here. Let's see what you can see. Can you see what I see? All right. This is the exterior wall. There's nothing under it. Just uh, looks like rags in there. Here's the end of our joist. Routed off about three inches, or well, more than that. And then no insulation. And then here's the band joist. What it is, a little piece stuck on there. Then some siding. Texture 111, half inch plywood piece. And then here's where, here's some debris dust, and we'll put that in a bucket. There's a snake skin right there, see so yeah. that? Get this junk picked up and put it in a bucket. And then we'll start taking more of this apart. And you see our stud is routed off um, on both sides. So we got a little fixing to do here. I'm gonna probably get a large four foot level. I think it's the largest we got with us, but uh, we'll check and see how far this is off. All right, Dawson's cleaning up this opening here. We're trying to get this stuff from falling on our heads. He's gonna pluck some nails and sweep this and get this insulation out of here and get the dead bugs out. Dead bugs out. Yeah, use the pry bar. That cat's paw will do a nice job with them little nails, little finish nails. And then, see how sharp this will get these little guys. And then just sweep this open and get all this fuzzy junk out. And then we'll sweep all this out and then we'll figure out what we're going to attack here. Oh, there's another one down there. We'll pluck all these nails and then give it a good sweep. See how rotten this stuff is here. But this will tell us where the outside wall is anyway. Let's see that bar and hammer. This is what we need, guys, is a sill. Something to sit it on. Nothing here, is there? Nope. Out of the imagination. We've been getting a couple rough jobs lately, huh? Yeah. If you follow along, we got a bathroom, a couple bathroom remodels recently, but well, uh, yeah, sweep it super good. Keep going, because I want to put some spray foam in around the door to get all that junk out so we can fall in our heads. In and, out. and then we had a bathroom project, and this is actually the, the dad of one that we did. So we're going from right down the family line, I guess, and repairing everybody's... But, you know, you got to fix this stuff. You got to make this better. We're going to try to see how much rot we got to replace here. And I might have to take this pie with Texture 111 so I get a flat 2 before across here or something to support our door. Yeah, get that jump out there. See the corner? Right, reach up there and get that out. Uh, inside. Go on over there. Get that out. What is it? And then, look at this snake here. How long is that one? Not very. Remember uh, on the previous job we saw a three foot? 42 inch, wasn't it? I measured 42 on it. Start sweeping from there out, and we'll get all this junk out, and then we'll see, keep going here. There. I get this 2 by 5 or whatever it is out of here. It's not quite a 6. Rot. It got ant trails in it, so it's gotten wet a lot. These are just two by sixes, they're all punky junk. Hold on there. And... Used to be carpet out here. 
Was there carpet? That would make sense. Why would it be bare plywood then? The homeowner doesn't remember what was here. Do it all? Yeah, go all the way up there and get all that stuff. See the rag stuff down in there? Plugging up the holes. And then, I don't know what to do here. There's nothing. Find it. shove it down in there. Shove it down in there. All right. So we're just going to disassemble till we come down to something that's we can attach to here. And we might Hopefully put, the, huh? We might put you guys on time lapse. Yeah, because it's going to get boring now. I just wanted to show you guys what we got working here. See some of this stuff. Uh, pretty rough here you know ant trail somebody's writing on it but see the ant there's nothing here and then these uh these are redwood stains so it's almost like a pressure treated deck you know they could be treated but they don't look it do they they're not redwood I don't know why they would paint it if it wasn't a deck, you know. I thought it was a deck at one point, and then they enclosed the room. That would make sense, right? But the uh, joists are all over the place. We got 22. This one is like 15. And then we got another one at 7. I huh. bet you back there on this cantilever back in there is where a 6x6 six six is. Let's see if this is 5.5. Yeah, see, I bet you back here somewhere, down in there, this cantilever over, let's see how far, there it is, about 16 inch cantilever here, so 16, should be like right under this board, should be a 6x6 six six or something, 4x6 six I think it is, holding this up. Gonna stand in your way a second, but what we got in this jungle is there's rags in here. See these, Dawson? Mm -hmm. Nice. Ugh. There is some insulation in there. And then look what we're hooking to here. Nothing. I don't know if we can get that out without destroying the interior wall. And then down in here we got nothing on this side we got to replace these sleepers on the outside all right the homeowner just come out and he left but he said go ahead and do what we got to do and so what we're going to do is we're going to tear out this rot here we're going to put down some two by sixes or fours or whatever he said he had he wants to leave this we're just going to continue with the band joist to cross and then he will probably vacuum this mess out of here and then we're going to jack the deck up as much as we can and try to attach it to the house if not we're just going to get a support in the middle so it doesn't bounce just jiggle that a little bit dawson see it's all over the place i don't know if you can see that but it does go down and touch those blocks over there. It's concrete blocks sitting up. Yeah, there you go. It's moving up a couple inches. But um, I'll set this up on time lapse and we'll just keep going here. 
see the best we can do and then uh All right, two by 10 ledger. They had a bunch of pieces in between each one. So we're gonna go the full length that's missing here, which is 58 and 7 eighths. And we're gonna cut one of them. I cut the rotten joists, or rot, rotten sleepers on top of the rotten joists. They're not that rotten, but they're uh, a little rough. And that's gonna give us the solid sleepers in here. And then we're gonna put our, our band joist on and those we can screw on over here we're going to put sisters then we can screw to the side and that'll beef that up the bottom plywood can be done later he said don't worry about it it's just sitting there this is all overhang then we're gonna like i said we'll put some sleepers on it doesn't matter the size as long as they're two by they can be two before it's just to fill up the gap and then we're going to go underneath this wall as far as we can to beef that up so that the header, even though this is a gable end here, the header will push down on our king and jack and just, you know, be on the plate. And then we're going to do half inch plywood. And then we're able to set a door in here. Dawson's using some ring shank nails, putting the plywood down. If you saw on hyperlapse there, time lapse, we uh gotta get turned around here. We sistered on joist. We use joist hangers. We put a band joist out here. We got half inch ply. It's longer than 96, this rot was, so we had to go a little longer. Um, so all the sleepers are filled in, so we got good support for half inch plywood. They're only a couple inches apart. I gotta do one little piece here. I just cut a piece of ply we're gonna put here, and this is gonna be considered outside wall, so that's texture 111. We're just gonna put it on, and then this should get flashed with flashing. I'll probably use the uh the asphalt flashing right here on this edge so we don't get any more water in there and the homeowner didn't want to go any farther so we're following directions and he does, you know he can't spend that much money on this this isn't worth it It'd be another 
another room to take off, right Dawson? So he says, let's keep it in a simple budget. So we're just patching the floor. We're going to throw the door in. And the door was, do you remember the cost of that? 438 or something? 435. Something like that. And then uh, a, uh, a nine light uh, pre-hung door was 354, I think it was. Mm -hmm. So it was $100-ish difference. And what we would have had to do is run studs in this. So if you look up... We'd have to run studs and then we'd have to do plywood we'd have to do vapor barrier you know outside insulation drywall and vinyl siding this way we just put a door in the same size and be done with it so what we're going to install is actually a, a sliding door because it's less money hopefully we carried up these stairs without the deck collapsing i wanted to get the door in today and if we don't have time for the deck we'll work on that monday um, this is a Friday. Dawson wants to go bowling tomorrow, so he's trying to work hard getting this in. Some of these little nails are bending because it's, you know, it's plywood. It's rubbery. All right. So they're not going to go in great, but I don't want any bent over. you got to pull them out or break them off. I don't want anybody touching their toes on them. This had carpet, and they rolled it up and chucked it. You can see the tack strips, so uh, they might roll carpet if they decide to use the room, but he said he doesn't use it. It's storage. This is what he wants. This is what they get. I got a. I got to cut one more piece of plywood there. I got the outside cut. It should fit. Checking my height. I got 81 and a half. And that's even, believe it or not. And an 81 and 3 eighths. So it sagged a little bit in the header, about about a quarter eighth of an inch. And then go ahead and break them off if they're bending. And then uh, our width. We got 76, so it's really big. I didn't know it was that big, because that door was oversized, Austin. So we have to do something with the side by doing like studs. We can just shut it in. There's actually a sliding door right behind us. I'm going to see what this rough in opening is. And this is a 71, so actually the door we're putting in is the same size as what's here. So we're going to actually put a couple studs on there to bring that in. I brought a table saw if I need to make something. We just need a nailing flange. All right, Doss is down below. He's screwing that skirt board, uh, siding material on. He's putting a bunch of deck screws in it. What we want to do is beef up that so that maybe we, if the deck will move a little, we can hook it to the building. That'll give us something to screw to. And then uh, we got our plywood nailed on. It's getting pretty secure. I'm going to put some uh, window door flashing tape right here. I'm going to finish framing in the edges because the door that was in stock isn't exactly the same opening, but, you know, we're trying to be on a budget friendly here, so I think it's going to save him a couple hundred bucks. So that's what we're going to do is uh, flash the bottom here after I get the rough opening in. All right, it feels like it's about 90 out, don't it, Dawson? He's down there uh, screwing the cleats on with some deck screws because they look pretty rough. Then he's going to put a couple nails or screws in the treads to hold them down. We're going to try to get that door up here without it collapsing. I'm putting uh, 
some framing and sheathing on here and then I'll probably put some flashing tape or something on there all right I got the rough opening done I had to come in two befores if he puts a little wider trim it'll cover if he doesn't want to do trim we won't worry about it I think he said he we're not gonna worry about it but uh, either way you know one by four trim whatever should cover and then uh, I'm putting flashing tape and I'm covering that seam gonna go roll down over the edge so that it'll be behind the nail and flange so if any water got there it cannot get in it's got to go down let's see if I can get you so you can see it Ugh, there sorry about that there you go so I'm putting flashing tape across there and up the edge and then we'll uh, go get the door so there's the tape on here's our plywood in there's our framing our sheathing up the sides we're gonna go ahead and put the nailing flange on. We're gonna nail, you know, nail it on. I might use screws. Might use screws. Put the door in, and then there's gonna be a flange. And then we can either cover the flange with like a pine board trim, um, flashing tape, probably flashing tape the top. There is a aluminum drip cap there, which I like. And uh, he said, don't worry about it, but we gotta get it looking okay. It looks a little better than when he started today. Well, oh, guys, we just busted a you-know-what here. Trying to get it up the stairs. There's two of us. Those stairs are rickety and bowing. And this is pretty heavy with a glass in it. It's only D and I. We did it, but I'm about out of breath, can you tell? He did the top. I did the bottom. Now we're going to take the packaging off and make sure she uh, fits the opening. Cross your fingers. That sure looks better. We got a little trim to do.